this is Michael Bosey. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, really glad that you could be here, especially since I was not intending to post an episode this week. And this one I will dedicate as a special episode just for my true listeners, the ones who have stuck with me through you know, all 31 episodes and have just been regular subscribers and listeners. I really appreciate you. Um, you know, I was going to take a couple weeks off, just needed a little bit of a break. Um, and you know, holidays are kind of hit or miss for posting, right? Either people are preoccupied with shopping, cooking, holiday parties, or they have some time off and they're actually paying attention more and you can't tell which one you're going to get. So, you know, I think if you need the break, then you should take it. And that's what I thought, but I couldn't stop myself. And why is that? Well, maybe it's the solstice uh, being the shortest day of the year or whatever. I'm not sure. But, you know, lately I've just been overwhelmed by gratitude. Uh, Gratitude for my listeners, first and foremost. You know, like I said, I launched this podcast 31 episodes ago in July. And thousands of people have listened, which is just unbelievable to me when I think about it. And I just so appreciate that. And it's so unexpected uh, to have people giving me their attention in such a way. It's just amazing. So, and also thank you to those who have been following my blog too. I've been doing that in earnest for what, about three and a half years or so. I know that I've published well over 200 articles at this point. And I guess just in general, I appreciate anyone giving me their attention. I mean, there are so many things that you can do with your time. And when you give me some of that time, to hear what I have to say. I mean, it's just, it's truly a gift and I really appreciate it. Now to my Twitter followers as well, I just love you guys. Uh, You know, I do a lot in other channels too, um, but Twitter's my best channel by far. Uh, It's just such a great space. I've just had such a good time with it and it's done a lot for my business and I can't recommend it enough. It might not work for everyone in the same way that it does for me, but I just think it's great. And I know that people can talk about how the internet can be poisonous, you know, negativity reigns, you know, don't read the comment section, but that's not been my experience. I find Twitter in particular to be just amazingly positive and supportive. I learned so much from my connections there, and I feel like I've curated a group of the best people on the internet. You guys are so encouraging, and I'm just overwhelmed by the support sometimes. So I really appreciate that too. Now also, you know, I want to express some gratitude for the people, anyone who puts their experiences out there. There were a couple of random posts that I read this weekend that inspired me to record this here And I want to share those with you. I'll put these in the show notes. But these just got me thinking in this way and just made me sort of, you know, get get me excited enough to want to record an episode and talk a little bit about this because I just thought these these two posts were great. Now, the first one is from Laura Nunemaker. And Laura, please forgive the pronunciation if I get that wrong. But Laura is a small business owner who seems to be doing everything right with her content marketing. She's really good at it but still felt like she was being sort of chastised or whatever for not doing everything she should with her social media strategy. And I just love that. I love that experience and that expression of of that experience. I mean, Laura, from what I can tell, you're doing all the right things. And furthermore, to go beyond that, you know, sharing this personal story is exactly the thing that other small business owners need to hear just awesome. And I really appreciate that. And I found that to be inspiring. Laura's post is called, Is It Selfish to Schedule Social Media Updates? And I'll link to it in the show notes so that you don't have to search around for it. Now, there was another great post by Jack Steiner. Uh, Jack was talking about the folks who are, you know, the ones who are trying to be helpful, but also have this clear purpose in mind behind the post. You'll know it if you see it, the ones that are a little too aggressive with the content marketing, maybe with a pop-up or a very strong call to action or something where the author of the post really wants you to do something. And, you know, hey, look, that's the purpose of content marketing. I don't mind that either, but I appreciated Jack's approach to this or his perspective on it. 
that it was, hey, look, if it's helpful to me, I don't really care. That's, I think that's fine. People can do that. And, and it's all right. It's not, uh, you know, as long as you're getting something out of it as the audience, then it's successful. And I just thought that was a really good perspective on this. Now, Jack's post is called uh, Why Your Post Sucks and Everyone Hates Your Blog. Funny title. Uh, great post. And again, I'll link to this in the show notes so that it's convenient for you. So these two posts in particular really inspired me, but I have to say anyone who shares their experiences, you, you all inspire me. Uh, I just think it's a great thing to watch other people do what they do. And, you know, I think I've mentioned this in the podcast before, but I'm also a musician and I just love to see other people play live. Even if I don't like the band that much, you know, I still love being there because I always learn something. I always get something out of it, whether it's a technique, a piece of stage presence, something. Or sometimes, even if the band's really bad, I learn about what not to do. And I think even that is a gift and a good gut check. So even the folks who are not that good or who are just learning their way through it, I have to say thank you to them too. I think that's just a great thing. You watch, learn, and get inspiration. So to all the folks who are sharing their experiences, keep doing it. And I promise I'll keep learning from it, and others will too. And like I said in my last episode, this is just always a reminder to do it with a genuine purpose. Do it because you want to help people. And it's all about running your business the right way. And you know what? It's a lot of fun, and it feels good. Helping people feels good. Okay, so I think that's about all I have to say on that. And now I'm really going to take a break. Seriously, uh, no episode next week. I'll be back after the first to start the new year off with a bunch of new topics to talk about and a couple brand new projects that I'll be working on too. So I'll look forward to keeping you updated and taking the journey with you. So thank you to everyone. Really appreciate you. And I just wish you a happy and safe holiday season and a very happy new year. And we'll see you on the other side. Thanks. Thanks.